going on, everybody? It's your boy Dorian. I'm here with the beautiful and lovely little mama. How you doing today? I'm blessed. Good, good, good. So as you all can tell, um, she is dressed in all pink. Um, you want to like let us know why you're dressed in all pink today? Uh, yes, I'm dressed in all pink because I'm doing a photo shoot for uh, Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I don't know how many people is familiar with uh, my story, but my mom passed of cancer in 2007, in December, uh, December 15, 2007. And um, I definitely uh, represent for young women and, and young guys, and young children or people who have lost their parents to cancer and um, or family, you know. And I just want to uh, send my heart out to those families and to my family in remembering my mom. So, I mean, you just spoke about, you know, young women and, and, and young children, and I know that up to this point you've been a role model. How important is it for you to remain a role model? What do you think that you're doing um, to, to, to be in a positive life for these young girls and young guys? Um, it's very, very important to me to be a role model. I am the oldest girl in my family. I have older brothers, but I've been the only girl for so long that it was like when I first laid eyes on my little sister, mm -hmm. the first woman, um, I was like, wow, I'm a big sister. And then my second sister was born, and I think that they remind me every day that I'm their role model. And it's very important to me. It's very important to my dad. And I'm just so happy to have a fan base okay. and a following of people that look up to the things that I do and find it respectful. And, you know, I just, I thank God every day. Right for this position. Right. So as I said before, you look extremely beautiful right now. And you know, I have to be honest with, with you and our audience. I came here with uh, another set of questions. Uh, watching you and watching the way you're operating and feeling your spirit, um, I have to say that my attitude changed towards you. Um, I think that a lot of times in the press, you see things and read things. And then, you know, as people, we tend to look at it and kind of take that that image that we that we believe. Um, do you feel like maybe one instance of service that have changed people's thoughts about you and actually who you are, and do you feel any need to prove them wrong? Um, I think that perception it plays a major role in our society. Um, however, you know, like how like how you said, the experience is so much more relevant than word of mouth or you know, hearsay, because when you, when, you get, when you get to experience something with someone, you know, no matter what someone else says about them or their experience with them, you can always defend your experience. Mm -hmm. And I just think that, you know, our experiences with one another mm -hmm. and in life itself is the most significant uh, part of our journey. Right. Because it's, it's not really about what someone else thinks. Right. And um, to answer the second part to your question, um, I don't really feel like I need to uh, defend myself. Um, I've mentioned in the uh, previous inter interview that I felt like a defendant mm -hmm. um, at some point that I should get a shirt that says the defendant. Right. <laughs> it's so funny, but you know, as, as, I, as I continue to, um, you know, just live, mm -hmm. I, I, I gain more motivation. Right. And um, like, I, like, like, uh, um, I, I get to inspire. I get to inspire right. people every day. Every day is a new beginning. Right. So I'm just blessed. Man. Right, right, right. Yeah, and, and, and like I said before, you know, I've seen interviews with you. I've seen the way that you react with the media. And today I will say it was a beautiful day. Oh, yeah, and you yes. know, it, it, you're, you're paying tribute to something that's extremely important to your heart and extremely important to so many young people and so many people around the world. Because I, I, know, I know everyone has probably been affected by someone that has um, passed away or even survived um, breast cancer. So what do you have to say to the women out there that survived it, the women that are going through it, and you know, the people that have lost people to that battle? Like, what do you have to say to them? Um, for one, I just want to say that I know what it's like to be the person to um, watch someone suffer cancer and it's not uh it's, it's not a pleasant experience it hurts sometimes we even run away from you know watching because we suffer just as much as the person we don't feel the physical pain but the emotional and spiritual pain we feel it and we endure it every day and we just want to see happiness and to those people that's going through that right now Pray. I want you to just pray for those people, your family, um, and be there for them and 
cherish the moments that you still have with them because when it's all, when it's all over and, and, and if, they, if they don't get a chance to make it through that battle, you will look back and think about your experience and wish that you had embraced every moment. And those people who made it through, you are survivors. I look up to you, you are my hero. You are, um, you are, you are in a position I wanted my mom to be in, but she just didn't. And um, I've, I've met some mothers who told me that they fought that battle and they, and they won. And I love to see, I love, I love to see our soldiers who made it through that battle. And um, my, my heart goes out to everybody that is experiencing someone who's suffering. Um, my heart goes out to those of you who are suffering. And my heart goes out to those of you who have made it through. God bless you. And um, I mean that genuinely from the bottom of my heart. And um, just live life to the fullest for as long as you can. Every day is precious. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for sitting down with us and, you know, sharing some of your intimate thoughts. And, you know, I'm a fan. I was a fan before, and I'm a bigger fan now. Okay. And I cannot wait to hear what you have coming up. I know you have some music coming up um, soon. So I look forward to hearing that, and we look forward to seeing these beautiful pictures. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Thank so thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time. I want to thank everybody who supported me today, all of my lovely sponsors and endorsed sirs. <laughs> Miss Isley, who granted me with this space, the Greenery Studio, the photographer, Mr. Tyron Red, a uh, few wardrobe stylists, the lovely Kurt, uh, Miss Melissa who came out today, and Antonio. Um, I would like to thank Anthony Cherry for blessing me with this wonderful hair style, and Juju Hair, whose mother also suffered and died of cancer. And, which is why she started her own hairline. I would like to thank you for providing me with this lovely weave. I know I wasn't born with this girl. Um, I would like to thank Naima for doing my makeup. And I think that pretty much wraps everybody that was included on this shoot. Thank you so much guys for coming through for me. And thank you guys for watching.